Hi, and welcome to the first section where we study the basics of bonds, stocks, and foreign exchange instruments, and the macroeconomic factors that affect these markets. We begin with bonds, also known as fixed income securities. We won't get into the complexities of bond theory, but focus on its pricing and the relationship between prices and interest rates, since that is what is relevant for our agenda. We need to understand this relationship between bond prices and interest rates as it is an essential building block to further understanding how each macroeconomic indicator influences the prices of bonds. We start with the basics of bond cash flows, discount rates, and look at an example of how bond prices are inversely related to interest rates. Next, we look at the linkages between bond prices economic growth, inflation, and interest rates. At the end of this lecture, you will be in a much better position to understand this article on bond prices and interest rates. Let's begin with what a bond or a fixed income instrument is. A fixed income instrument is very similar to a simple loan product. One difference is that fixed income instruments are publicly traded. So let's compare the cash flows of a loan with those of a bond since we are all familiar with loans. We see that in a loan product there is an initial cash flow called the principal that the lender pays out to the borrower. In a bond instrument this principal payment flows from the buyer of the instrument to the seller. The intermediate payments in a loan product are interest payments that the borrower needs to make to compensate the lender for the principal. In a bond instrument, these are called coupon payments and flow from the seller to the buyer on a periodic basis such as monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or annually. At the end of the tenor, the principal borrowed is repaid to the lender along with the final interest payment. It is the same case with the bond where the principal and the coupon is paid to the bond buyer on maturity. The first action item in the bond pricing exercise is to map the cash flows of a bond or loan instrument. Take uh, an example of a 5-year 10% annual coupon bond. In the first column we have the tenor which is 1-5 to five years. In the next column, we have the coupon payments that the bond holder receives. Next, we have the principal repayment by the buyer to the seller. And lastly, we have the total cash flows. Once we map these cash flows, we are ready to start pricing the bond instrument in the next lesson.